Okay, I made a video uh, about me being outside the other night, and I talked about dialing in your system for whatever temperature you're having to deal with. Now, this video is very, very important for people that don't know this, and probably most preppers that sit behind their desk have no clue what they're doing when it comes to this stuff. Unless you get out and do it, you really don't have a clue. And... Uh, it pretty much would be 90% of these guys sitting behind their desk doing nothing. Now, there are certain items in your backpack that you have to keep warm. And that's all there is to it. Or you'll end up killing yourself. Now, for example, the Sawyer. And I think this is the Mini. Get the full size, not the Mini. Make sure you check your Sawyer's. And make sure you got your rubber thing that goes in the end. This one doesn't. Make sure everything is equipped with how it's going to work. Now, if the storage has never been used, and I have one in my truck, then you don't have to worry about it. It's good because it's never been used. But as soon as you put water through it, even to test it at home, because you bought it, you wanted to test it, you went, oh, that's pretty cool, the water tastes great, and then you shake it out, and then you throw it in your pack. If this thing gets cold and it goes below zero, 32 Fahrenheit, it'll crack. And now it'll crack inside. You won't even know it. And then you'll start sucking on bad water. It is very important that this does not freeze. So once it's been used, put it in your pocket, not your pack. When you arrive at your destination and you have everything set up, and you've climbed into your sleeping bag, you can now take it out of your pocket if you wish and throw it at the bottom of your sleeping bag or your quilt. Throw a baggie around it and uh, it'll stay warm down there. Or you can just leave it in your pocket. In my case, I use a First Need much bigger filter. This one filters viruses. And this one requires a little bit more effort because I have to keep it against my skin. So I carry it in a pouch. It's against my body. I keep this warm at all times. I do not let it freeze. Or you'll be making yourself sick real quick. Electronics. You want to keep batteries warm, cameras, cell phones. When it's cold, it's death to batteries. You want to turn around and keep them warm. Put them in your pockets. Um, and again, when you're inside your quilt, your sleeping bag, throw them in a baggie. Throw them at the bottom of your sleeping bag. Now I say throw them in a baggie. Hey, batteries blow up. Batteries crack. Thing goes things go wrong so if you double up the protection and something goes wrong let's say the battery did blow or crack inside the bottom of the sleeping bag and you didn't have it in the bag well now you got that acid and everything all over your sleeping bag and if you've got a $300 sleeping bag that's going to be very depressing protect 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 every chance you get two types of water bottles you got plastic ones and you got stainless steel ones these are one wall not two Okay, so they're a thin wall. So why have both? Well, if I'm only 5 degrees or a little bit under zero, I'll take plastic. It's probably not going to freeze because it's a lot of water in there, but I will take these and throw them at the bottom of my quilt is what I will do. Now, when these are on my waist or on my pack, they are constantly moving when you're walking, so chances are for the water to freeze is pretty slim. When they're sitting on the cold ground, they will probably freeze. And that sucks because you might want to have some coffee or tea or a mountain house in the morning, right? So protecting your water from freezing is important too. Stainless steel is a little bit heavier, but it offers one cool thing. You can turn this into a hot water bottle. Fill this with hot water, whether it was from the fire or whatever you did. Throw a sock around it, and then put it in your quilt or your sleeping bag. You can put it up by your chest, put one down by your feet. Basically, you can keep the inside of the bag up another two or three or five degrees warmer than what you were able to amaze that. And this would go on for probably around five hours. So this is kind of a pretty cool deal with this now if i was traveling bugging out going to another town 
I would take stainless steel. They take more of a beating than the plastic do. But like I said, stainless steel does weigh a little bit more. So it really depends on your scenario and what's going. But if you're going to choose one, then go with stainless steel because it has multiple things you can do. So protect your purifiers, protect your batteries, anything else you can think of. And keep this stuff warm at all times. Don't neglect it. And that's probably one of the major biggest things when you're dealing with cold weather to keep yourself safe. Here's some tips, and uh, catch you guys on the next one.